hey, bear with me on this one, but, um, well, it's kind of an I told you so message. But over these past few years, I've talked a lot about the Obama administration's long-term impact on our country. He came into office, of course, promising to fundamentally transform America. And out of all the promises that he's made, it seems like this is the only one that he is determined to keep, unfortunately. So with the clock ticking on this presidency, you know, it's, ca it's called a lame duck presidency as a president only has a couple of years to go and they're winding down. Well, this kind of go nowhere legislative agenda of his in that President Obama is turning once again, as I warned, to a surefire legacy item that is the judiciary. This is what he's gonna start picking on next. It's nothing new, I've talked about it many times before, President Obama trying to move the judiciary, of course, to the far left from the beginning of his first term. He's even said that he's, quote, remaking the courts. This from a constitutional lawyer, supposedly. So when the president starts talking about the judicial appointments that we should watch out for, we should watch out for them. Recently at yet another fundraiser, our president hinted at upcoming Supreme Court vacancies. He was talking to his big money donors, his pals, about why he needs a, a liberal, a Democrat Senate. He said, quote, we're going to have Supreme Court appointments. What that was was a warning, another kind of heads up as to what his intentions are here. Uh, maybe there's no better reminder about how important the November elections are than what he said during this uh, fundraiser that he probably didn't want some of those suggestions to be made public about, I believe, his intentions to do to our court system. The imperial presidency of Barack Obama, and that's what it is, an imperial presidency, it, it's been determined to reshape our country, and that was from the beginning, day one of his election. It seems to be for the balance of power and uh, the you know disrespect of the Supreme Court that that's absolutely well established. I don't know who can argue that out there. Even hardcore liberals, you guys can't argue with me on that one. His disrespect for the Supreme Court. There's evidence, uh, like when President Obama publicly and personally, embarrassingly scolded the Supreme Court ruling. Uh, remember during the. 2010 State of the Union address. He's up there at the podium, and the, because he disagreed with one of the Supreme Court's decisions, he embarrassed him. He says, you know, with all due respect and due deference to separation of powers, he said before going on to embarrass the justices. It resulted in a cheap applause line for him, but what it was was uh, quite a manifestation, quite clear evidence of what he feels about the Supreme Court, that he would publicly embarrass um, these justices like that. Well, his effort to shape the judicial system, it's, it's not limited to the Supreme Court either. It's all courts across the federal judiciary. And this is what I've been talking about, is that in, in these last couple of years in office, if he has those who will just, you know, embrace status quo, go along to get along with him and approve some of what I believe will be the hard left radical appointments that he wants to make, well, um, there will be irreparable harm done to our country because obviously the judicial system, the, 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 the whole um, pyramid of power there is so extremely powerful and impacting every one of us every day of our lives. Well, we have an opportunity though with midterm elections this year to stop this judicial power grab that's coming. We can stop it. See, if, if liberals lose control of the Senate, it'll be nearly impossible for the president to put a hard left Supreme Court nominee uh, forth and, and get that person confirmed. And of course, that's what his intention is to do in the next couple of years. At least one, probably more. And well, it's one more reason to take back the Senate, right? We must derail Obama's plan to transform the courts for decades to come. And we gotta do that now. So let's do it. We've got. 80 some days left before some big votes in this 2014 election cycle. So let's do all that we can to make sure liberals are out in November. Stop the liberal Obama agenda. Who's with me?